all of that, absolutely. I think that it's been overwhelming here this morning, and um, I would say out of um, 15 or so people that we've had in a short time that we've been here, because you've come a little bit later when you know um, we've already dealt with a lot of people, about 99 percent. Ah, in support of you or in support of the election? No, in support of me and the stand that I'm taking um, to protect the rights of the um, territorians um, from being spun to. People are very aware, territorians are very educated people and uh, they know when a spin is on and uh, they just don't want to be part of it. They want to be told the truth and uh, um, they want a government that will govern and not say politics and uh, they've seen all the nastiness happening. So this is a real fight between David and Goliath. Are people wanting an election? Uh, it's split at the moment between um, calling election and uh, the other things are just sort of split between the others, you know, like um, support CLP, go back to Labor. So, um, yeah, but election is really, really high. Has and a Minister approached you um, since you've left the party to try and negotiate? No, absolutely not. Uh, and is that because he hasn't tried or because you're not taking his call? Oh, look, um, I don't think that it's a uh, time of uh, going into whether uh, the Chief Minister's uh, called me or anything like that because I'm now an independent and uh, I certainly uh, will only be listening to territorials. And Trish Crossan came up this morning on radio and will effectively beg to have you back in the Labor Party. Um, is that something you would even consider? Oh, look, I'm not one people that just jump in and out. I'm an independent now and I'll stay an independent. What, what have you, you had a chance about? to read the papers and listen to the talk back? I mean, it's been more than just today. You said you were going to listen to, to everyone. Uh, the views have been, uh, what have you been taking away from those views? Oh, look, I said on Pete Davies this morning, Nick, that uh, um, I thank everybody personally this morning for all the messages that I've got so far, good, bad and ugly. And uh, I thank every single one of those people because it means to me that that person took the opportunity to leave a voicemail or text me. And I thank those people personally from the bottom of my heart. But the majority of the calls that I've got have been very, very touching and very personal. And I personally rang these people back and had personal chats with them. And it's absolutely wonderful to see Territorians come out because it is the um, people's power that will change what happens next week. Can I clarify what you're doing out here? Sorry, because you said on the radio yesterday you knew what you were going to do next week, but you want, you want to, I don't know, uh, confirm that this is what people want? That's my personal thought, and I'll keep that as personal. And um, what I will be seeing the Territorians, and that personal um, thought will be changed by um, the voice messages that I get, the text messages that I get, and what I hear from Territorians here today. And, and Tuesday so you will say, sorry, Tuesday you will say if you will um, support an election or if you will support the CLP government. I think it's going to be the most exciting Tuesday in anyone's life next week. <laughs> So from what, what you've been hearing already, your view hasn't changed on what you're going to do on Tuesday? You're still planning to go ahead with My view your... is totally something that's mine. I will be led by what people tell me today. And let me say that it's been overwhelming, very, very touching. Um, people driving in from a long way to um, come here today. And uh, I've certainly had text messages and phone messages from ex-territorians as well, saying good on you, keep up the good fight. And you can see, um, by text messages that the um, party texting machine is uh, um, in overdrive and uh, I certainly um, know what happens inside there and uh, it just makes you laugh to see that uh, you know um, one little person has put them into an overdrive. What's you believe, you believe one that, person has written a lot of text, a lot of these texts? Well I know for a fact that they carry out around two or three mobile phones each and uh, um, you know I'm not a fool I didn't come down with the last shower of rain. What's the reaction in your electorate? My electorate is absolutely fantastic, standing by me, fully supportive, and um, like I said, this is David and Goliath, and uh, believe me, the Northern Territory Labor Party will call in the big feds, the big brothers, to make sure that they put extra resources in, but I'm prepared to go down and fight. Good on you, Alison. Keep yeah. up the good work. Keep yeah. going. Good you, yeah. <laughs> Alison, the Chief Minister effectively launched um, an election campaign this morning at the press conference. Do you think that was proven for him? Oh look, you can you can see it coming, and uh, like I said, you know he, he, he was a dead man wolf, and he's still a dead man wolf. What do you think about Marion Scringer returning? Oh look, I don't want to get into any kind of commentary about Marion. This is not about Marion, and uh, I just want to keep focused on the issues of um, making sure the territorians aren't taken as fools and aren't treated as fools. And um, I think that the spin machine has to stop, and it goes to um, the spin not just on 
what they give out to territorians, but what they give out to journalists. I think that journalists need to be very, very careful that you don't cross the line of being involved in government. You are there as a third tier of scrutiny for people of Northern Territory, and I want you to keep that ethics about yourself. This has never happened in the Territory before. How do you feel about the reaction to it and what's actually happening? Oh, look, I think it's overwhelming um, gratitude, I guess, from the Northern Territory um, public that they, at long last they've had um, someone that can stick up for Territorians and not for a um, major party. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Mm. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.